right here at 7th Street Road last Thursday, where David Michaels was hit by a Jeep Grand Cherokee while riding his bike. The impact so strong, it broke almost every bone in his body and left the 30-year-old paralyzed but alive. It was all right what happened uh, with him being there but not able to be able to walk. We, we was found that because he was still here and we could talk to him. Until early Thursday morning when Michaels took his last breath. He was only 30, you know, no children, never had a wife. He had so much life to live. His death so unexpected, it's left his loved ones questioning why didn't the driver stop? But they didn't have to just leave him laying there like he was just nothing. I mean, that's just senseless. The incident report from Shively Police states from several witnesses that the driver stopped only for a brief moment and then left. It's a cruel world to think someone would leave, you know, someone on the side of the road knowing you hit them and you hurt them really bad. The hope is that if any of these businesses alongside 7th Street Road caught a glimpse of that Jeep on surveillance footage, that they turn it into Shively Police. Anybody that knows 7th Street Road knows that there is a lot of cameras everywhere, from one end to all the way to the other. So somebody's cameras caught something. With his family members praying for answers, right now all they're left with is memories of Bubby that will live on. He was very helpful. Uh, had a heart of goat. Yes. Nothing he wouldn't do for anybody. In Shively, I'm Shaquille Lord, WLKY News. Thank you, Shaquille. Michael's family is raising money for his funeral. We have a link to the GoFundMe right now on the free WLKY mobile app. If you know anything about the hit and run, call Shively Police. That number on your screen right there, 930-2773.